Hi friends, this is a flip through of my most recent scrapbook mini album. This is an altered book that I created of a vacation that I recently got to take with my partner to Las Vegas. We went when we did because we had the opportunity to see Dermot Kennedy in concert and his most recent album, Sonder, all of the merchandise is this really beautiful lavender purple color. So that is the color that I have focused on the most throughout the album, but I pulled things from way back in my stash, like sassafras lass. I've got scarlet lime uh, papers from the planner kits that used to be all the rage, a lot of American crafts and just bits and pieces from different places. But I took the colors from all the papers that I collected and uh, pulled them into a yarn trim tassel bookmark that I made. And then I painted a old book. This is from my dad's childhood, actually, that was no longer readable. There was lots of scribbling and damaged pages, but I took out about half the pages and then used acrylic paint to cover the outside of the book. On the inside cover, I adhered a photo from the trip. It's one of my favorites. I thought it was a great opening kind of to sum up the trip, um, the iconic sign, um, you know, just, I love this picture. And that is opposite my title page. And then something that you'll notice throughout my whole book is just a lot of messy paint and messy stitching, messy thread. Just that was pretty much the aesthetic throughout. I did everything chronologically. We were there for four days. And so at the start of every day, I used alphabet stickers to indicate what day it is. And then a lot of the pages are just made up of uh, bits of patterned paper layered with vellum and cardstock. Um, I hand made some little flowers with thread accents. There's lots of washi tape. Um, the majority of the journaling is handwritten. Uh, sometimes I use a lot of patterned paper. This one um, spoke to me because these pictures are from the Bellagio where the conservatory is and all the beautiful flowers. So this just made sense to me. Um, but in order to fit in journaling, I made that photo a flip so that I could have some hidden journaling there. And I also created some pages out of postcards that I picked up while I was there. So the way I did that was I trimmed down one of the pages in the book that was still attached to the book. And then I took a strip of book page and stitched it to the postcard and then glued the book page strip sewn to the postcard to the flap that was still attached to the book. And that is how I created postcard pages. And then you'll see that I've attached memorabilia and photos. And later in the book, I've attached journaling typewritten on vellum. Another thing that I did throughout the book was I painted pages. I put washi tape down first and then just monochromatically added acrylic paint. I used three different kinds of alphabet stamps to take lyrics from Dermot Kennedy songs and put those down on paper. I did pink and yellow and purple several times throughout the book. Uh, again, more messy paint. This is probably my favorite patterned paper in the entire book. Uh, for this page, I, I wanted to put all three photos together because of the subject matter being relating to each other. But in order to make that work, I had to overlap the photos and I didn't feel like I had a lot of room for journaling. So I made them flip so that the journaling is on the back side of the photos. And again, messy thread, thought a rainbow effect around my photo there would be fun. <laughs> I laugh when I see these pictures because I didn't know my partner was videoing me when I um, was watching Dermot Kennedy take the stage. And I apparently was a ridiculous fan girl of a mess. So anyway, pulled some stills from the video for that. Um, I took advantage of some white space on the patterned paper for the journaling there. I always like to save, so this is the, the leftover from punching out all the flowers from the uh, handmade flowers that I've got throughout the book. And I love using those leftovers as layers. 
I also really enjoy using vellum in book, altered book projects, because you can still see the text through the vellum and whether it's patterns vellum or not. And I really like the graphic look of that. So here's one of those postcard pages where I used my typewriter to write on vellum and then I just stapled it to the postcard. More paint. This is a page where I took a piece of patterned paper, I cut apart the shapes, and then I used just the shapes with colors that coordinated with my photos well, and reassembled it on my page. And then I put paint down to give myself a surface to do my journaling. I think this is my favorite lyrics page right here. I just really love the floral washi tape with the messy yellow paint on top. And then another way that I gave myself more space for uh, journaling, um, I knew I wanted two photos over here, so I just made a very large kind of uh, flip here and almost like a mini book inside the book. Um, so I have a picture on each side and then the pattern paper had plenty of white space for writing on. And then places uh, or pages where I didn't have a lot to say, I just used the margins to put down enough information. This is one of my favorite pages. It was one of the last ones that I did. I took a lot of the um, salvage edges of the pattern paper I was using or just you know strips that I had left over and stacked them up with some washi tape. I really like the effect there. Right here, I took my two photos and I stitched them to a piece of cardstock the same size uh, on three sides so that the tops are open and they created little pockets for tags that I made and put my journaling on. And on this journaling page, I plan to put a QR code of video from our trip as soon as I get that all edited and uploaded to YouTube. And that is pretty much it. So I hope you enjoyed the flip through of the book. And uh, right now I will just add here to this video a little slideshow of all the pages and some close ups.